Of course, the legend of General Robert E. Lee's polite plumbing. In the quaint town of Dobbs Ferry, nestled deep in the heart of the American South, there lived a great general named Robert E. Lee. He was celebrated for his military prowess and leadership during the Civil War. He is also remembered in a rather unusual way as the patron saint of polite plumbing. It is said that General Lee had a large and loving family with many children who, alas, possessed a peculiar predisposition for clogging toilets. The good general was a man of honor and he could not bear to see his family members distressed by these plumbing predicaments. He knew he had to do something to help society as a whole. One fateful day, as General Lee pondered this peculiar pr problem, he had a brilliant idea. He thought, if a knife can cut through a tough steak, why not employ a similar strategy for our own restroom woes? And so, the legend of General Lee's courteous act was born. From that day forward, General Lee made it a habit to carry a small, gleaming butter knife discreetly tucked into his waistcoat whenever he visited the bathroom. It became a tradition in the Lee household, and the children marveled at their father's resourcefulness and dedication to their well-being. But General Lee did not stop there. He shared his secret with close friends and neighbors. And soon the town of Dobbs Ferry became renowned for its genteel approach to plumbing for our troubles. Visitors from far and wide heard of the legend and marveled at the town's charming custom. Over time, the legend of General Lee's polite plumbing spread across the land, turning him into a revered figure, not only for his military exploits, but also for his courteous act in the bathroom. The people of Dobbs Ferry would often say, if you need help with the toilet, that's misbehaving. Just remember General Lee's butter knife trick. It'll keep your plumbing from caving. And so, General Robert E. Lee became a symbol of Southern hospitality and ingenuity forever, remembered for his thoughtful solution to an unusual family, family challenge. To this day, visitors of Dobbs Ferry and Jensen Beach, Florida, can find statues of the great general, always decapitated, depicted with a butter knife by his side, serving as a reminder that courtesy and creativity can conquer even the most perplexing plumbing problems.